An electronic weighing machine is used everywhere in our daily lives, from weighing ourselves to gold in a jewelry shop. Weighing machines is one of the most fascinating things nowadays. These machines do not use springs, like a traditional weighing machine making them more accurate. In this video, we will learn about the working of a weighing machine in a simple manner. But before getting into the video if you learned something from this video then make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. It will keep us motivated to make videos like this. Now let's get into the video. In simple words, electronic weighing machines calculate the weight by measuring the electrical resistance. This is a 3D model of a weighing machine that we will use for learning, your machine might be different than this but the working principle is the same unless it is a type of smart weighing machine. The most important component of the weighing machine is a load cell, which is just under the base. These cells are made of materials that deform slightly when weight is applied. They typically contain strain gauges, which are thin wires that change resistance when stretched or compressed. Load cells are arranged in a configuration that allows them to measure weight accurately. When an object is placed on the weighing machine's platform, it applies a force downwards due to gravity. This force is exerted onto the internal components of the weighing machine, initiating the measurement process. Within the weighing machine, load sensing mechanisms, such as load cells, are responsible for detecting the applied force. These mechanisms are designed to deform or stretch in response to the force applied by the object. The extent of deformation or stretching is directly proportional to the magnitude of the applied force. Load cells commonly employ strain gauges, which are thin wires or foil strips, arranged in a specific pattern on the surface of the load cell. As the load cell deforms under the applied force, the strain gauges also undergo deformation, causing a change in their electrical resistance. The electrical signals from the strain gauges are typically integrated into a Wheatstone bridge circuit. This circuit consists of four resistive arms, including the strain gauges, arranged in a diamond configuration. When the resistance of one or more strain gauges changes due to deformation, it creates an imbalance in the bridge circuit, resulting in a measurable voltage output. The voltage signal output from the Wheatstone bridge circuit is relatively small and requires amplification for accurate measurement. An amplifier circuit is employed to amplify this signal to a level that can be accurately processed by the subsequent electronic components. Then the amplified analog signal is converted into digital form using an analog-to-digital converter. This conversion allows the continuous analog signal representing the applied force to be digitized into discrete digital values, which can be further processed by digital circuits. The digital signal representing the applied force is processed by a microcontroller or digital signal processor. This processing may involve filtering out noise, compensating for environmental factors such as temperature fluctuations, and performing mathematical operations to convert the force measurement into a weight reading. And this is how a weighing machine works. Thank you for watching the video.